Hola Taurus Sun, Libra Moons, welcome to your 2023 a Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorder or live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715. When you do this is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also check out your 2022 a Sun Moon readings and see if they rang true for you. The first portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2023. The second portion will be the Venmo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2023. So, Taurus Sun Libra Moods, smooth operator would be the best term to describe you. You're rarely rattled by any situation and you take the time to assess all angles of it before you take action. Often, you're the one encouraging others to calm down and play the peacemaker. Your focus is centered on a beautiful home and a harmonious family life. Friends know they can count on you and that you will lend a helping hand when it is needed. You are also very sensual and romantic when it comes to love connections. Your Taurian sun instills a confidence in your Libra moon. Normally, your Libra would second guess itself and seek others' approval, but your Taurus sun is strong in its convictions and doesn't need anybody's blessings to plod forward. Sometimes this can manifest into stubbornness, but it works for you. You enjoy a simple life, which often includes nature, but have a pension for material acquisitions that are solid and an investment. After all, practical and financial security is a hallmark in this combination. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity and your insight for Taurus Sun Libra Moons for the year 2023. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages? Any messages would be greatly appreciated. We thank you. And what do you see for January, February, March for Taurus Sun Libra Moons? January, February, March, we have the Page of Wands in the upright. A spark of an idea, possibly. Uh, what do you see for April, May, June? We have the Ten of Swords in the upright. Um, also, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate. And any of the links below in support of my channel, that is always appreciated. Okay, we have the Judgment card in the upright for July, August, and September. And what do you see for October, November, December? We have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Wow, so, okay. Um, so it's interesting because it looks like at the beginning of the year, like I said, you have an idea, a spark of something. Um, it's something new. I feel like it's something innovative. Um, it's not It's not necessarily the action. The pages for me are usually um, the seed of something. So a new project, new career, new investment. It could be a new love um, You know that has a lot of energy to it that makes you feel very youthful. Um, it can be, uh, you know, you got positive news of some sort and it really inspired you to innovate, to change things, um, something in that regard. So I see you really uplifted by this. He's kind of looking at the top of this wand like hmm you know maybe this could work um so i kind of see the cogs turning in your head um while you kind of figure it out um now the problem is in april may june and i don't know if it's relevant to this but i'm seeing an ending so i don't know if you you kind of started it uh wanting to get it off the ground and then what happened is it ended just as suddenly as it started um it could have been just it really fell flat and the ten of swords is when it's the end of a cycle and you're pretty much at the bottom of the barrel you're at the bottom of the well um you know feeling powerless feeling hopeless um you know feeling and it's usually something that happens very quickly so it's something maybe you weren't expecting uh, maybe it's something you overlooked although I couldn't see you guys doing that um, but it, I feel like it's something that didn't work out and it's almost like you have to start from scratch again so uh, you know something maybe that you had an idea you were working towards it making it happen and then all of a sudden it just you know kind of fell apart and you're like oh, I gotta start all over again this is not working at all um, and, and it really is a kind of powerless feeling that you know you don't have any control over um, over um you know how it's kind of moving forward i feel now in uh july august september with the judgment card in the upright i feel as though back to the drawing board board you are but i feel as though um this time you're coming at it with a fresh outlook and saying to yourself you know what i'm gonna go ahead and do this if people are gonna judge me oh well 
I don't care. I know it's the right thing to do. I'm going to put one foot in front of the other and I'm going to, it's going to be even better the second time around is the feeling I'm kind of getting. So you're just, any regrets that you had um, previously, you're saying to yourself, I'm going to release those regrets. I'm not going to be dragging them around with me in July, August, September. Um, you know, I'm going to realize that whatever this was, I struggled, it didn't work out, but now I'm kind of leaving it in my rear view mirror. So it's a really is a big choice that you're making um, to kind of assess something and have a second go around and kind of make it happen. The judgment card um, sometimes can also be um, an assessment of a relationship and deciding whether it's going to work or not, and then deciding to reconcile with that person and move forward. So, you know, it's an either or. Um, the Ten of Cups in reverse is for October, November, December. And this is where I feel that whatever you're deciding to do is causing stress on a unit known as family. And I say that because a lot of people consider different units family. It's not always the people that we grew up with. It could be our work family. It could be a very tight circle of friends. And I feel as though because you're pouring yourself into something and you're so dedicated to it and, and you're hell bent on making something work, I feel as though there are some people who are feeling a little left out. There are people who are feeling a little neglected. Uh, there are people that aren't necessarily understanding why you have to put so much time into something, why it's so important to you. Um, you may not be uh, spending a lot of time at home, um, you know, a lot of time at the office or a lot of time in your workshop or things of that nature. And you have to be really careful in October, November, December to make sure that you maintain those personal connections. Let those people know that they matter before you kind of dive into this full steam ahead um, is what I'm kind of getting. So that's what I have for you at this present time. If it resonates, consider personal pre-recorder, live reading, email email, DM me or text me 646-902-5715. Um, otherwise, click on the video link below. I'll be pulling these clarifiers on those cards for a deeper interpretation in addition to a card of advice for 2023. Check out your 2022 sun moon reading. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. Always appreciated. Otherwise, Taurus Sun and Libra Moons, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.